Hello everybody and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games. If y'all are new to the channel, welcome. I am Dr. Ghost and I make content for the game World of Warships Legends. Today we're going to be in the tech tree tier 5 Russian carrier, the VMF Surov. Or the Surov? Serif? I don't care. Surov, that's all I know. It's a Surov. <laughs> that's what I'm going to call it. But uh, yeah, by popular demand on yesterday's poll, a majority of you guys, surprisingly, uh, surprisingly, voted on uh, the Surov. So that's what we're going to be in today. Um, out of the three ships um, I had on there, Surov, um, I think it was Shinoname, um, and I think it was um, the Omaha. M most of you guys basically, surprisingly, picked the Surov, <laughs> which I have no idea why. But you know what? Whatever. It is what it is. So we're going to play it today. And uh, yeah. So now, keep in mind, quick disclaimer, this is not going to be the most amount of damage in the world. Um, and that's just because, you know, it's a carrier. I'm not really a damage hunter in my carriers. I try to um, play for the team. Now, what am I doing right off the bat, guys? Well, I'm spotting. Spotting the enemy, very important. <laughs> carriers are the best ship in the game to do that, even better than destroyers. And that's just because they can send squadrons across the map to do all their dirty deeds for them. Now... Right now, as you guys can see here, I'm not going for a ship right off the bat. I'm trying to spot, trying to see if there's an enemy destroyer here. Now, keep in mind, we are in a match against somebody that I do recognize, and uh, we are going to absolutely crap on them. Now, quick spoiler. Uh, now, what do we know about the Surov? Well, real fast, let me go over it. Now, the Surov has, of course, the famous skip bombers. Beautiful, right? I know. Skip bombers, which are totally not broken at all. Also, this thing has torpedo bombers. Now, they're not just any torpedo bombers. They're the kind of torpedo bombers that you could drop all the torpedoes all at once in. You can drop a total of six torpedoes on somebody. Now, we just got an opening hit on that enemy destroyer for 5.7k. Not too bad at all. We're showing that destroyer what's up, dude, with these with these uh, freaking Russian skip bombers. Now, going back to the torpedoes on the Surov, yes, the torpedoes are really good, but the one downside to them is they're very slow and they don't do a lot of damage. Yes, you can drop six of them all at once, but you gotta remember, they're very slow and they do a very, very, very small amount of damage. I think the average damage is about two to three thousand damage. Three thousand damage being like on your best, um, best of luck there. But majority of the time, yeah, you're only gonna do about two, two thousand damage per torpedo. Now, the Skip Bombers is where the ship really does shine, and as you guys saw earlier on Asian Vader there, we absolutely smacked the ever-living crap out of him. We hit him for 5.7 thousand damage. That's huge. That's half of his HP gone. Now, we are still sending out squadrons after squadrons here. We're trying to keep pressure on those destroyers, keeping them at bay, and keeping them uh, keeping them torpedo spotted for the team. Um, that's very, very important, guys. That's what I try to do in my carriers, most of all is I try to harass the ever-living crap out of DDs. Make their life an ever-living hell. That's the, really the best thing a carrier can do for their team. If you guys want to know how to play a carrier, just go harass destroyers. Drop on them. Make them turn. Make their life a living hell. That's how you guys should be playing your carriers. That's what I... At least that's how I play them. Now, there are certain carriers where you're not really meant to, like, go after destroyers with, and that's, like, Kaga. Kaga is one of those carriers. It's kind of, uh, kind of one of those ships that's not really designed to go after DDs. It's meant to farm damage off battleships and cruisers. It's just what it's best at. Um, and, yeah. Now, notice we are up to 5,000 damage still. Like I said, we, we aren't going to get a whole lot of damage this game. It is what it is. But, really, the point of this video is not, you know, damage. It's The point of this video is just showing you what you need to be doing in your in your carriers and really in all your ships. That's what I try to do here on the channel anyway, is try to teach as best as I can. Um, and uh, yeah, I do hope you all do enjoy it nonetheless. And speaking of enjoying it, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, we are at the halfway point already, I know, right? <laughs> Don't forget to go down there and hit that like button. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel. I've got content coming pretty much every single day in the week. Although, today's video is very late, um, 9, 9 o'clock p.m. at the time of recording this. So, sorry for that, guys. But still, you guys should be still be able to watch it. And, uh, yeah, I hope you all do enjoy it nonetheless. Now, also, don't forget to comment down below. I do get back to everybody I can down there. Now, this Eagle just hit a ship and crashed, and we are able to absolutely punish him for his mistake there, bringing our damage up to, up to 24,000. Not too bad at all. Now, what else is there to talk about the Surov? Well, the concealment. The concealment on the Surov. Horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible concealment. Um, I believe it has the worst concealment in the game for any uh, any uh, carrier. Um, of course, other than the Pobeda. Really, all the Russian CVs across the whole board, they're very, very, very... 
um, not stealthy. Uh, you, if you get spotted, um, you will get absolutely wrecked, and it's very difficult to go unspotted because you got around a 13 kilometer concealment. So keep that in mind. Now, the build I have on my Surov, you guys don't really need to know that. Honestly, just build your own build. Use the regular carrier captain, um, uh, the, the whatever the dude that looks like Elon Musk, that dude. <laughs> Use him. Do whatever you want. I honestly go for a full torpedo build, um, but I occasionally swap it out for like a bomb build. And uh, speaking of bombs, we just smacked that uh, that Tennessee there, and we got a few fires as well. Not too bad, but... Um, yeah, now the AA on the on the uh, Surov, it's pretty good. It's a carrier. It's got fighters. So I mean, don't come after a Surov if you're trying to, to carrier snipe. Honestly, I don't like carrier snipers anyway. It's not a not a very strategic idea to go carrier snipe. Um, but if you want to, good luck with it because Surov actually has some pretty good AA. Um, but it's not like the best by any means. Um, but yeah, now the speed and maneuverability of the Surov, it's not bad. It's a carrier. Honestly, I'm not really moving that much anyway in my carriers. Um, right now, as you guys can see, though, I am moving. Um, that's because uh, this whole side is one, so I'm able to actually push up here. As you guys can see on the map, I'm going to try to get my carrier in a position behind that island there um, to keep launching at the enemy here. Now, my main concern is being deplaned here, but I think we're going to be okay. Now, notice we just absolutely smacked the crap out of that Tennessee again, um, and yeah, he's just not having a fun time. He is getting absolutely bullied up to this point. Now... Really, not much you can do about that. Now, on the topic, by the way, if you guys are wondering my thoughts on the Russian carriers, I know I don't really have, I haven't talked about this too much, but my thoughts on the Russian carriers is they're pretty freaking overpowered. Um, and really, they're, they're not that easy to play. If, if a noob is handling them, they're going to have a hard time. But if, a, and if, in, if an experienced carrier captain like me or whoever else is in, at the helm of this ship or really any of the Russian CVs, mainly the Tier 5 and 7, um, these carriers are disgusting, and they can really put a hurtin' on the enemy team. Now, um, they're really strong, and I think uh, they do need a bit of a nerf, mainly on the skip bombers, because uh, on the first line of the skip bombers, you can drop them like dive bombers. It's it's not not okay. Um, but everything else, I think, is pretty balanced about it. The torpedo bombers aren't that overpowered. Um, they are pretty easy to dodge just because they take forever to get there. You can see them when they're coming, usually, where they drop. Um, but... Um, if you're not paying attention, if you're not, you know, making evasive maneuvers, you will take these Surov Torps. Now, although they don't do a lot of damage, but over time they will do a lot of damage just because of the amount you can drop. Now, is there anything else to talk about with the Surov? I don't think so. I think we covered pretty much everything. It's a good carrier all around. It's got, you know, 12 planes per squadron, which is the average at the tier. And uh, at tier 7 as well. Um, and, uh, yeah... I do like the Surov. I like the Russian carriers. They're pretty fun, but they're not fun, of course, for the enemies that have to deal with this crap. Um, really, being on the receiving end of any carrier, it's not fun. But uh, nonetheless, though, guys, we are actually coming to the end of this video, and I can't thank you all enough for staying uh, tuned this long. If you guys have, uh, don't forget to go down there. Seriously, hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below, all the stuff, guys. Even commenting or liking the video does help out a lot, um, and it just helps the YouTube algorithm pick this video up and get it out there to people. And uh, honestly, I cannot thank you all enough for the support. I can't thank you all enough also for 700 subs. That still, still blows me away. 100 subscribers, guys, in just 15 days. That's nuts. And uh, it's all because of you guys. But um, anyway, yeah, um, we're almost done here. Um, like I said, not a whole lot of damage this game. And that's just to be expected. But uh, nonetheless, though, I mean, hey, we're doing what we had to do. We're doing what we have to do for our team. You know, hunting them destroyers, keeping them at bay. And, uh, yeah, if, you, if anybody from this match is watching, um, mainly those two guys that were in the division, GG's to you guys. <laughs> uh, sorry I made your life probably a living hell, but, uh, hey, that's my job, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, guys, that is about it. We're coming to the end of the video. We're up to 56,000 damage. We're just farming at this point off this Talon. Um, keep in mind the Talon has really, really, really good eight, uh, really, really good, um, AA. Sorry, by the way, guys, heard my phone, but, uh, yeah, so... We're having a pretty fun time here, just farming off this Talon, although he does have really good AA, but we're still getting some drops off here. And it's kind of hard to actually aim these um, while he's uh, while he's doing that. Now, our Skip Bombers actually got a really good hit there, and uh, that will be our last bit of damage, believe it or not, guys. 63,000 damage. Not too bad at all, I would say. Um, no, yeah. So... Up to this point, we're basically almost done with the game. We just gotta wait for this Talon to die, or for the timer to go out. And, uh, that will be the end of this video. So, yeah. By the way, I hope you all have had a good 4th of July. I know I did, it was alright. <laughs> it wasn't the most crazy time, but it was okay. But, uh, yeah, so I hope you all have had a good week so far. 
I'm just at this point stalling because I'm waiting for this damn match to end. There's not much else to talk about. Sorry, guys. But, uh, yeah. So, just to save us time here, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the end of the video to the match results. Um, just because there's nothing else to talk about. And, uh, yeah, I will see you all there. Okay, so here we are. 63,000 damage. We had a bunch of spotting ribbons, a bunch of torpedo hits, 2k base XP. Not bad at all. And uh, you guys know what to do. If you like the video, like it, subscribe, comment down below. All the support is greatly appreciated. And, uh, yeah, guys, I will see you all in the next one. Peace out. Stay healthy, as always.